Hi guys! Um, I'm starting my next flip today. It's this really sweet little cane-backed chair. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It needs repainting because it's pretty chipped in a few places um, and I want to change the colour a little bit as well. Um, the linen on the seat has held up really well. It's just got a few stains on it so I'm going to be changing that. So we're going to do a little bit of free upholstery too. And yeah, hope you enjoy seeing the process and you like the final result. Hi guys. So I've finished sanding the frame of the chair and I'm just going to take a little bit of 120 grit sandpaper by hand and gently, um, gently sand the cane back um, just because I don't want to damage it at all. So I'm actually just using one of my sander pads but only because I've run out of sheets of 120 grit otherwise I'd probably use sheets because um, they tend to be cheaper.
Okay, finishing touches guys. I've reattached the seat um, to the main frame of the chair and I'm just painting the cane back here. I'm using Rolling Fog in Mid by Little Green for the cane. I wanted to do it in a different colour to the frame of the chair, which is in Wood Smoke by Earthborn Paints. I just wanted to reflect the two colours in the chevron fabric on the seat, which for anyone who's interested is a Tebow fabric called Lunar Chevron. It's a Krypton fabric so it's all stain guarded and uh, you can pretty much spill whatever you wanted on there and you should be able to flick or wipe it right off, so also super practical, which I love um, because we're all about practical in my house with, uh, with Hero and horses and just loads of mess. Um, so yeah, just putting the finishing touches on and then we'll be ready to go. That's the final look guys. Um, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. I think it would be a perfect bedroom chair and hopefully a bedroom chair that you wouldn't pile high with clothes either, which is what I tend to do with mine. Um, but uh, yeah, really pleased with it and I hope you enjoyed seeing the process, watching it all come together. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or queries or if you've done anything similar. Would love to hear from anyone who's painted cane before as well. Um, because that was a new experience for me and um, yeah give me a like if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one and see you soon